Durante a conferência realizada dia 16 na sede da ONU, o presidente do painel independente de alto nível sobre as operações de paz falou à imprensa. Zero tolerance for sexual exploitation and abuse must mean exactly that. Zero tolerance. Immunity must not ever mean impunity. Member states must declare that when it comes to sexual exploitation and abuse, this staff of the United Nations should and will be held to the same standards, the same legal process, the same level of accountability as the rest of the world citizens. Member states, for their part, need to immediately conduct investigations and prosecutions into credible allegations of misconduct of their personnel and keep the Secretariat informed of the status of investigations and disciplinary actions taken. We also propose that Member States support the creation by the Secretary General of an effective and adequately resourced victim assistance program to support individual victims and children born as a result of sexual exploitation and abuse. If in a given UN mission, there is credible evidence against a particular individual, civilian, who uh, uh, operate under uh, uh, the mission. Uh, if there are credible allegation, allegations, the mission must facilitate immediately due process to take place in that country, beginning with investigation. It must cooperate with authorities. It cannot challenge, create difficulties to the, uh, the host country because the person automatically does not have immunity on that case. This is what has to be very clear. You commit a barbarity, you have no protection whatsoever. You are subject to the laws of the country where you are operating. You know, he cannot hide under uh, the United Nations roof. No dia 18, o secretário-geral da ONU, Ban Ki-moon, reuniu os comandantes das Forças de Paz para falar sobre a violência sexual. Everybody must commit to ending this shameful problem at headquarters, in the field, and among the member states. I also count on your leadership in ensuring that all peacekeepers uphold the highest standards of integrity in the performance of their official duties, and at all times throughout their deployment. I take my responsibilities extremely seriously, and I expect you to take responsibility for ensuring that all peacekeepers under your command uphold the highest standards of integrity at all times. Anything less is unacceptable. Centro de Informação das Nações Unidas para o Brasil, Unique Rio.